everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Thank you for joining me for another video, which again is autumn themed. Can you tell how excited I am that autumn is finally upon us? It is officially nearly Christmas. I bought my first Christmas present today, so I have officially started Christmas shopping. Yay! Today's video is all about five key trends for autumn 2020. And I've picked out five trends. There are lots of trends for autumn winter 2020. <laughs> there was a big long list, but I picked five that I thought were key trends because they are not really trendy trends as such. They're trends that come back year after year. If you were to buy them this year, you would still be able to buy them next autumn and the autumn after that. And that's because they're very, very classic trends that don't really go in and out of fashion. They just happen to be big this year in particular. So now is a really good time to stock up on these if they are trends that you are into. If you like trend videos, then please give this video a like and let me know down in the comments that you enjoyed it. And if you like my other videos, then please do subscribe to my channel. It would be lovely to have you here. So without further ado, let's get onto the five key autumn trends. The first of which are capes. I think the high street is a great place to go for capes because capes are so statement. They're very, fashion so they always look more expensive than they actually are so I don't think that you need to spend a great deal of money on these although there are some really really beautiful ones on the premium high street and there will definitely be some amazing ones on the luxury designer side but I definitely don't think that you need to break the bank when you're buying a cape I think it's such a stylish glam piece a cape is definitely a garment that turns heads i think when you walk into a room with a cape on there are definitely people that are going to look at you and think oh my god what is she wearing <laughs> there are definitely also going to be people that really get it and think that you look absolutely stunning and stylish i think as long as you stick to neutral tones then the cape will always look more on the chic side rather than the ott side this is something that will take you right through autumn through winter and even into spring as well the next trend is one that I'm really intrigued by and it's leather layers. So on the catwalks we saw a lot of leather shirts, leather skirts, le rhyme, leather coats, leather jackets, leather trousers, leather boots, all worn together at once. So this is a look that I've not really tried before but I've definitely got some pieces that I think will work for this trend. I've got my faux leather jacket which I've shown you a few times from French Connection and I've also got a leather or faux leather skirt from warehouse which is quite old now a couple of years old so i'm going to see how these look together I'll, i haven't tried them yet so i will pop a picture on the screen let me know what you think in the comments let me know if you think that i'm trying a little bit too hard <laughs> or let me know if you think this is a look that i should definitely rock trend number three is ott and dramatic sleeves so this is something that we saw in spring summer already we had some puff sleeves where they puff out from the shoulders and then they were cuffed to about here so you had really lovely hourglass shape that was formed by this now that we're moving into the colder months the sleeves are basically just getting longer and more dramatic more flare so you end up with a really big balloon sleeve a lot of organza things like that this is a trend that i think you can wear year after year even when it's not in fashion but it's not quite as timeless as the other trends, so I wouldn't go and spend masses of money on this one. But I think as long as you stick to the right styles, the right silhouettes, the right colours, then I don't think this is going to look dated. I think you will still be able to wear this when the dramatic sleeve trend is not as big as it is now. The dramatic sleeve trend could be a way of making your office outfits that little bit more statement and fun, or you might like to look out for a nice party dress with a really big puffy sleeve or shoulder. I'm really annoyed about trend number four because a couple of years ago I actually had a pair of ankle boots that would have worked really really well for this trend. So this trend is chain accents on shoes and I had a pair of ankle boots patent from ASOS and they just had this little chain detail just over the toe and I absolutely loved them. It's an easy trend to wear as well if you are like me quite girly but you do like that cooler edge as well. It's a very easy way of bringing in something that's a little bit outside of your comfort zone but without it taking over the rest of the outfit. This is obviously picking up from the chain jewellery trend that we've been seeing so all those lovely little kind of almost choker but not quite chain necklaces that we've seen, chain earrings, chain bracelets, it's just basically moved down to the footwear now. For the fifth and final trend I'm going to be showing you for what feels like the hundredth time now on this channel my over the knee boots from Miss Selfridge. Long boots and in particular over the knee boots and riding boots are very on trend this autumn. This is nothing new we see these styles of boots every single year but they're just especially on trend this year so as I said at the beginning this is a really good year to pick this stuff up because you're going to be inundated with choice so thankfully I already have a pair of over the knee boots in my wardrobe but I definitely would like to pick up a pair of riding boots because these are going to be really really comfortable they're going to go really really well with my new Reese tiny trousers that I'm wearing 
now you can't see. <laughs> I love autumn footwear, I love boots in particular. Autumn is just one of my favourite times of year for fashion. If you haven't noticed already, I particularly love boots, so I'm very intrigued by all the footwear trends this season. I think this is a really, really wearable trend because it's just so comfortable, so practical, it's great for the cold weather and the wetter weather, and I think everyone needs a really fantastic pair of boots in their wardrobe. Thank you so much for watching today's video, all about five key trends for autumn 2020, or my five key trends for autumn 2020. There's certainly lots of other trends that are coming into play this season, but these were the ones that I thought were really, really inspiring, really timeless, ones that you can carry on wearing year after year, it doesn't matter if it's not 2020 in particular, these aren't year specific trends, they're going to come back into fashion, they never really go out of fashion, so you can comfortably invest in these if you want to, uh, without the worry that you're never going to be able to wear them again after this year. If you enjoyed this video please don't forget to give it a thumbs up so that I know that you enjoyed it. If you want to see more trend videos or if you have any ideas for videos that you'd like me to make in the future then please do leave me a comment down below and don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you are new. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!